What's up guys, in this video we're going to be making it so that not only our rebirth items that we purchase are permanently with our tycoon, but we're also going to be making it so we duplicate our tycoon and we can have multiple tycoons all around our map. To start off with this, all that we're going to want to do is just go over to our rebirth items that you want to be able to be purchased once the player has a certain amount of rebirths. And you can press alt to click on a part inside of it and that should bring you up to wherever the item is inside of your game. And what you're going to do is just inside of this materializer we're going to add in a bool value just like this. And this bool value we are going to rename over to rebirth item. And then we can click on the check mark right here to turn it to true. Now just make sure that this is a rebirth item and we can identify it as so. Make sure you copy this rebirth item to any other rebirth item that you want around your tycoon. I only have the one at the moment so I'm only using the one. However if you have multiple other ones feel free to use multiple rebirth items after that we can close off our materializer here and let's go into our rebirth script right here now up at the top of our script we're going to create a brand new variable and it's going to be local rebirth items it's going to be equal to a empty table and then right after we clone our tycoon and everything we just want to make a for loop so we're going to say for i comma v in pairs and then this is going to loop through whatever we put inside of these parentheses. We're going to say tycoon wait for child parentheses and then this is going to be purchases. At the end of these parentheses we say get children just like this. And so this is going to loop through every single child of the purchases folder as soon as the player buys the rebirth. Let me press enter right here. And then we check if V, which is any of those items inside of our purchases folder whenever a person buys a button, find first child, parentheses, quotation marks, and that's going to be rebirth item, and V, we can actually just copy this line right here, and V, find first child rebirth item dot value. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say V, dot name sorry about that we're gonna say rebirth items i'm gonna say table dot insert we're gonna take our rebirth items table as the table we want to insert something into and then we put a comma right there and we're going to say v dot name so this is basically just going to add the rebirth items name to this rebirth items table if the item itself has that rebirth item value we we're talking about and it's just going to loop through every single thing in our purchases folder just to make sure that we get every single rebirth item. And then after we clone the tycoon right about here, we want to say our local, we want to get our purchased items folder will be equal to clone find first child purchased items. And we're also going to get our local purchases folder. And this will be equal to clone find first child purchases. And then we're going to grab our local buttons folder and this is going to be equal to clone find first child buttons just like that. Now we're going to create another for loop. So we're going to say for i comma v in pairs and then we're going to say our buttons folder get children do. So in this scenario that we're looping through right here v is our button inside of our buttons folder. So we're going to say if v find first child object if i can spell it correctly then so after we check if the button actually has an object inside of it then we're going to go ahead and get that local object and this is going to be equal to our purchased items folder and it's going to be find first child and it's going to be v dot object dot value just like this so we're going to find the object value of the button inside of our purchased items folder and that's going to get the item that is actually in there now we're going to check if object and table.find so we're going to search search through our table that we made earlier our rebirth items table and then this is going to be object.name then we're going to change object.parent will be equal to our purchases folder and after that we're just going to say v dot button dot can collide will be equal to false 
v dot button dot transparency will be equal to one and then v dot button dot billboard gy dot enabled will be equal to false so that'll basically find our button and pretty much just disable it for us right there. And this is going to make sure that our rebirths are inside of the proper folder whenever we go ahead and rebirth. So now that we've gotten that taken care of, we want to make sure that we duplicate our tycoons properly. So at the moment, we have our tycoon in server storage and our normal tycoon. So what we want to do is when we duplicate our tycoon right here, you want to duplicate it, move it over to wherever you want it to be. I'm just going to scoot it over a few feet right here. But then you want to name it to Tycoon 2 because it's the Tycoon after our first one. And then after that, we duplicate it and we move it over to server storage. After that, we just duplicate this process one more time. Just duplicate the Tycoon again, move it around to wherever you want it to be. But then we name it to Tycoon 3 and then duplicate it, move to server storage. And last but not least, simply go ahead and do it for Tycoon number 4. At least I'm having 4 Tycoons, you can do this for however many Tycoons you want to have. And that should be everything that we need to do. Join into the game real quick, you can see we have multiple Tycoons right here. And I'm going to try and claim this Tycoon. And I'm going to go ahead and buy a few buttons here. And so now that I have this tycoon claimed, I'm just going to make sure I can't claim another tycoon. As you can see, we cannot claim the tycoon and we get killed by their owner door. Alrighty, and I think I made a slight error inside of our code. Instead of saying tycoon, wait for child purchases, get children. Let's go ahead and make a new variable. It's gonna be local purchases it will be equal to player. We can actually just copy this whole line right here, dot value, dot purchases. And then we can replace this right here with our purchases variable. And frankly, we can get rid of this last line just right here because we already have the rebirth item inside of there. And that should fix the problem of it not actually rebirthing. And then after that, we just wanna make sure we duplicate our tycoon and then move it into server storage, just like this, and then delete our old tycoon. You shouldn't have to do that for the rest of them. I just wanna make sure that we have that rebirth item that we made changes to is inside of our server storage tycoons. And then let's go ahead and give it a test. If I go over here and claim the tycoon, let's go ahead and buy a dropper real quick. Let's get some cash flowing in. Just like that. I'm gonna go over here and rebirth real quick so we can get a rebirth. I'm gonna buy the dropper and then buy the materializer. And now that we have this, you'll see that if we rebirth, you'll see that our materializer will actually stay with us the whole entire time. By the way, if you guys are having any problem in your tycoons or just need a certain script inside of the tycoon that you might not want to write or just need help figuring out, not only will this game be open source for all of you guys to feel free to edit and mess around with, but you can also find the game file inside of my Discord channel, so make sure you join that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.